Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a beef bone broth. Bone broths are really good for many bodily functions. They're really high in minerals and example of the minerals that they have a high amount of is magnesium and phosphorus. And both of those aid in anxiety. For me, anything that will help me with my anxiety gets a thumbs up and today I'm going to teach you how to make one. It's, you can whip it up in no time except it takes a long time to cook but actually the prep is super easy. If you have a pressure cooker it will speed up the process like a million times. So if you have a pressure cooker take it out put it to use because it will become, come in really handy. Also you might be thinking mm, why would I make it when I can buy some? That's a good question, but not all broths are created equal. This one, for example, you think looks pretty, looks pretty innocent, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it has some good things about it, but there's one really bad thing that really stands out to me, and it's ugh, sugar in it. Why is there sugar in a bone broth? Can you answer that question for me? Because I have no idea. Anyway, another thing with a homemade bone broth is that you really boil those bones to death kind of thing and you really extract all the minerals that are in them. And to do that, you need to boil it for a long time and like simmering and um, when it cools down after it's done, after you strained it, where was I? Um, so yeah, a, a homemade bone broth, after you've let it cool down, it will gel gelatinize, it will become like a jelly. My daughter even likes it cold from the fridge in the summer and eats it like a jelly. She loves it. So that's what we're aiming for because that means that all the nutrients that were in the bone are now in your broth. Let's get cracking, shall we? Okay, so here we go. Um, the good thing about this is that you could use any leftover, you know, bits and pieces of veggies, like the stem of a broccoli, for example, you would chuck it right in. Anything like that, nothing goes to waste. You can pop it in your bone broth and it will give it lots of flavor. But today, what I am going to use is All you need to do is chop your veggies roughly they don't even need to be pretty or you know small or anything just roughly chop your veggies and chuck them in the bowl Not really following a particular recipe, I'm freestyling. Easy peasy, too, too easy. Anyway, so basically that is ready. I've covered the bones. Maybe I should take a picture. This is what it looks like. And that's ready to go into the pressure cooker. If you don't have a pressure cooker, what you can use instead is a really, a really big pot. You could also use a slow cooker if you have one and just, you know, pop it on a low setting and let it let it go for a long time like okay guys so I've popped my bowl in the pressure cooker and I'm cooking it for 99 minutes because I have time today I might do that twice just to make sure that I've extracted everything that's in those bones and 
If not, if you don't, if you are time restricted, just do it the one time and that will be good enough. Um, and yeah, it's a matter of waiting now. It's super easy. It took me no time at all. It's super cheap. So why wouldn't you make your own when it's so much healthier and you know exactly what's in it? No sneaky sugar. Anyway, see you in 99 minutes times two. Okay guys, so I just opened my pressure cooker and this is what it looks like now. Mmm. How does it smell, bunny? Really good. I love it. Do you want to have some? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so now I am going to strain this and let it cool down and then I'm going to pop it in the jar and into the fridge it goes. So today's the day after and I thought good opportunity to show you guys the final result. Here we go. This is it. The final product. There is a thick layer of fat on the top. We're not going to throw that fat away, we're going to use it. We can use it to make some vegetables in it, like fry them up or even fry an egg in it. It's delicious, it's super tasty and it will make your food that little bit extra flavorsome. So do not throw that away, it's gold. Um, so let me show you how I take it out. Can you see the consistency? It is a jelly. That's exactly what we wanted. That's amazing. Look at it. I hope you liked the beef bot. Blah, 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 blah. I hope you liked the beef broth. No. Uh, beef bone, bone, beef bone broth. That's it, got it. <sighs> okay, hope you liked the beef bone broth. And um, if you try it, let me know and tell me how it went. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I so look forward to reading them. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to hear a little bit more from me, just hit the subscribe button. I would be so grateful and so excited if you did that. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a video and you want to be the first to see it, just click on that bell button and you'll be, you'll be pinged every time I upload a video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a laugh because that's what it's all about, having fun together. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Mwah!